The Quilt Story There's the quilt. A little girl's mother made the quilt to keep her warm when the snow came down long ago. She stitched the quilt by a yellow flame, humming all the time. She stitched the tails of falling stars, and she stitched the name Abigail. Abigail loved the quilt. She wrapped it round her in the quiet dark and watched the winter skies. Sometimes she saw a falling star. Sometimes Abigail played in the woods near her home. She had tea, her dolls had tea, and the quilt had tea all over it. Uh-oh. Sometimes she pretended the quilt was a gown. She wore it to town on her horse. Clop, 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 and it tore. So her mother stitched it up once more. Sometimes she played hide-and-seek with her sisters. She laughed and cried, don't peek, and hid under the quilt, and everyone found her. Sometimes Abigail was sick. She sneezed and sneezed. Then she slept under the quilt, and she felt better. One day, Abigail's family moved away, across wide rivers and over a rock-hard trail. The quilt went, too, not stuffed in trunks with the blankets and clothes, it kept the little girls warm from the wild winds, warm from the rain, warm from the sparkling nights. They built a new house in the woods. Abigail's father built it with his hatchet. Chop, chop, chop. He built her a new bed. Chip, chip, chip. He made her a new horse, too. He worked until curly shavings color covered the floor, and everyone sneezed and said, Welcome home, and was glad and Abigail felt sad. New house, new horse, new bed. Everything smelled of fresh chops and chips. Everything but the quilt. So her mother rocked her, as mothers do, then tucked her in, and Abigail felt at home again under the quilt. One day, when the quilt was very old and very loved, Abigail folded it carefully and put it in the attic. Everyone forgot it was there. A gray mouse came and loved the quilt. Her babies were born on top of it. They grew fat and gray in the warm stuffing. When they got hungry, they ate a falling star. A raccoon came and loved the quilt. She dug a hole in a corner with her black paws and hid an apple there. A cat came and loved the quilt. A patchwork cat. It rolled on the stars, and stuffing spilled out like snow. Then the cat curled up in the snow and purred. <clears throat> kitty, kitty, called the little girl. She found her cat. Called a little girl. She found her cat, and she found the quilt splashed with patterns of sun. The little girl wrapped the quilt round her, and she loved it, too. Can you make it like new? she asked her mother. So her mother patched the holes. She pushed fresh stuffing in. She stitched long tails on the stars to swish across the quilt again. One day, the little girl's family moved away across miles and miles of pavement and snaking gray highways. They found a new house, freshly cleaned, freshly waxed, freshly painted, white. They unpacked and unpacked all night, and everyone sneezed on cardboard dust and said, Welcome home, and was glad, and the little girl felt sad. Everything smelled of white paint and boxes, everything but the quilt. So her mother rocked her, as mothers do, then tucked her in, and she felt at home again under the quilt.